Okay. Um, what do you think could happen in this market that's, that seems to be recovering um, to reverse that recovery? What, what concerns do you have about uh, things that are going on currently that uh, could cause it to turn around again? Sure, maybe I'll start with that one. Um, I think as we look out, uh, you know, M&A in my mind is a simple business. It's about the desire to take risk. And so when people want to acquire things, they want to take on risk, they want to grow faster, they want to achieve profitability. Um, that desire to take risk is usually based on confidence. How confident are you in the future? So when we think about people doing M&A and wanting to accelerate their you know, top line revenue or mm -hmm. earnings growth, uh, the dynamic they're working with that you know, would scare them away from M&A is about risk to the economy, risk to execution. Uh, so I think of things like a double dip recession, you know, US debt, European contagion, uh, what could happen there, uh, or a significant political event. You know, the one that's popped up in the last few months is North Korea. You know, if that goes very sideways, uh, that will have a very big impact on the world and could have a very big impact downwards on M&A. Uh, I, I don't disagree. I, I, I think that the, um, the risk profile and the confidence level affect dramatically the M&A activity levels. Fortunately, right now, what we're seeing is a high level of confidence that there's going to be tremendous growth in a number of markets. Um, and you know, just looking at GDP growth factors um, forecasts, uh, Asia is protect, predicted to have something like 10% GDP growth in the next year. That's a phenomenal level of growth. But we're also seeing in, in uh, Latin America, in, in the Middle East, which you know, has coming up from very low levels, but um, uh, tremendous growth and in, in the BRIC countries. So there's a tremendous amount of opportunity out there um, as long as there's this modicum of confidence that, that those growth forecasts are going to actually be realized or something maybe short of them, but something in that direction. And uh, our clients at the moment are seeing those opportunities and they're moving very quickly into uh, certain of these markets. and doing larger deals than they had in the past because um, there's a pent-up appetite for, um, by the strategics to get into new geographies for increased uh, sales and, and by private equity, basically there's, there's a lot of liquidity still waiting for, for uh, action. So um, it looks pretty good from where we sit, okay. from my perspective. Yeah, and I, I, my view is that, um, you know, I, I believe investor optimism ha has increased. Um, capital is flowing um, better than than certainly it was last year. Um, the recovery seems to be to have some momentum. Um, the key concern I have relates to event risk. So some of the geopolitical risks. Um, um, you know what's happening certainly in in Europe is um, of of some concern, but. If um, notwithstanding that, um, I think you know we're seeing quite a bit of M and A activity, and, and the level of investor optimism has has, at least from my perspective, has in increased appreciably over the last six, mm -hmm. eight, ten months. Okay.